Don't forget that there wouldn't be a reason for most of those animals to exist if people didn't eat them. I wouldn't really want and to what exist. About, um, if... you know, where would you get your shoes from? Where would you get, you know, your, your handbags and your lovely sheepskin coats and things like that and I... your woolly jumpers? Where would you get all that well, from don't if those get animals them, didn't exist? Don't get them from the and depths don't, of you know, fellow mammals. So, look, <laughs> I don't think there's anything wrong with taking kids down, down the abattoir. I don't think there's anything wrong with getting kids to know where their food comes from. And let's face it, a lot of kids don't. You know, from Jamie mm. Oliver... Kids mm. don't even know what a celery mm. is or a potato. They don't know what those things are. And they're vegetables. Yep. Yeah. So and, and, and by the way, actually, I don't have any problem with kids learning about nutrition and all of that type yeah. of thing. What I have a massive problem with is this mad, crazy, hippie headmaster trying to tell parents what they can feed their own children. It is none of her business, Amy. But in principle, the idea of a vegetarian diet going forwards and a more plant-based diet is better no, for not, not only the population, but the it's climate. It's better for the population. Well, it, no, I feel but, like well, all it, of these ideologues, they just want to create a weak and, and whingy population. Are we, are we, are we talk about we we're meat, at... chicken and beef, it's objectively good for you. And yeah. there's, there's no way to consume food without killing some kind of animal.